a novel of the sea or an adventure novel which actually turns into misadventure why because of madness why because of trying to disturb nature that is what moby dick is all about hello this is hina from team walat today we shall discuss this important novel of american literature moby dick moby dick or the whale that is the complete title which was published in the year 1851 author herman melville who lived from 1819 to 1891 he dedicated moby dick to his very good friend nathaniel hawthorne you know him his fellow american writer and friend the genre of moby dick is adventure novel as i told you a novel of the sea in fact melville has written so many novel of the seas because he himself tried his hand in sailing okay becoming a sailor It is an episodic novel. Why do we call it episodic? Basically, it has one hundred and thirty-six small chapters. So each chapter becomes an episode. And the setting of this novel is on a ship. The name of that ship is Pequod or Pequod, which is a whaling vessel. What is a whaling vessel? In the olden days, like before mid twentieth century, whaling was allowed, which means killing a whale. for oil for food for medicine that was allowed so there were various vessels or ships which went for this whaling that is they went around the oceans killing the whales bringing them back their teeth their skin etc so the setting of moby dick is pequod which is a whaling vessel which sails through the indian and the pacific ocean in the late 1840s and the narrator is a boy named ishmael okay ishmael remember he is the protagonist and also the only survivor of the novel call me ishmael the novel begins ishmael is a biblical name you should know this comes in the religious text for an outcast boy and many of the titles of people in this novel you will find are taken from scriptures so here we find the theme of religion In the novel Ishmael is a poor young boy from New York. He has worked as a sailor but never as a whaler. That is he's gone on ships but never on killing the whales expedition. To satisfy his freedom for adventure he travels to New Bedford, Massachusetts. Here he stays in a whaler's inn. Inn is like a small motel. So he stays in one of the motels named Spouter Inn. and you know so many people are here they want to go on the whaling expedition there is very lack of space because of which ishmael has to share a room with a very strange man a mischievous man man whose name is quickweg who is quickweg he is a native from the pacific island of kokovoko okay quickweg please remember these names so quickweg is very strange he has these tattoos on his body but he's very kind and gentle towards ishmael so over the course of days quickweg and ishmael they become very good friends and they think that they will find work together on a whaling ship because of which they go to nantucket what is nantucket it is the capital of the whaling industry from where the ships they start moving towards the oceans in search for whales okay so ishmael and quickweg they leave massachusetts they leave the place they were staying that is powder in and they move towards nantucket and at nantucket they do get a job on a whaling ship the name of this whaling ship is pequod i told you the entire novel will be now on pequod pequod is very savage looking very shabby how it is decorated with bones and teeth of sperm whales you know this is like a, what should i say a decoration like it is a trophy that the ship is coming with the whales with the material from the whales so they decorated with all these pieces these bones and teeth which makes this ship look very savage and very wild very barbarous okay now they also get this job how by bargaining very hard with the boat owners the owners of pequod are remember the names peleg and bildad although it's not important i'm just telling you peleg and bildad now these owners of pequod peleg and bildad they mentioned to uh, they mentioned to quickweg and ishmael that the captain of the pequod is a man named ahab remember ahab 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 he is the captain of pequod ahab has lost one leg how he had an encounter with a voracious sperm whale on his last voyage and who is this whale what is the name of this whale 
Moby Dick. That is how the title, the titular character, the antagonist, actually the villain of the novel. Moby Dick is the name of this whale because of which Ahab lost his leg in the last voyage. And this Moby Dick is wild, white, ferocious, lethal, deadly. Believe me, actually Moby Dick is all this. It is the antagonist of the novel. It is hunted by many, but killed by none. Here, the theme of nature and as, man, as I told you, why does man want to go and intervene in the depths of the ocean? Why does man want to be so curious? That's sometimes a question mark, right? Being curious is still okay, but you can't harm someone who is such an important part of nature. So here, theme of nature and man is discussed, as you can see. Now, let's listen a little bit about Ahab. Ahab, the monomaniacal captain of the Pickwood ship, is obsessed with killing Moby Dick and whatever lies behind it. Monomaniacal means when I am obsessed with one thing, I only have preoccupied my mind with one thought. So Ahab has preoccupied his mind with Moby Dick, I will kill him. Moby Dick, I will kill this whale. That's how Ahab is always thinking, is always, he's acting devilish, okay, because he has lost his leg due to Moby Dick. Now the ship leaves. Which ship? Which ship? Peckwood, of course. So Peckwood leaves Nantucket on Christmas Day with who all on board? Listen to the names. Ishmael, Quiqueg, Ahab, Starbuck, Sub, Flask, and few other crew members. Now, when the ship has started sailing, the proud and lethally angry Ahab announces that he will revenge on Moby Dick. Starbuck is the first mate of the ship. So basically there's a first mate, a second mate and a third mate. These are, you know, titles that you get on the ship. Starbuck is this matured and practical man. He warns Ahab that revenge is not possible against a dumb animal. But Ahab is adamant that he will find and he will kill Moby Dick. The Pequod starts sailing. It has many gams or meetings at sea with other boats and other seafarers, other sailors. What is a gam? It is a term used in the sea when the sailors meet each other. So that is gam. So Peckwood has many gams or meetings with other boats. The names of the boats are Town Ho, Rosebud. Every boat and ship has a name, right? Every whale also has a name. Peckwood sails towards the southern tip of Africa, where whales are sighted, but they are hunted unsuccessfully. After this, Peckwood enters the Indian Ocean, where few whales are caught. And then Ishmael, the narrator of the novel, describes how a whale is skinned and how the oil is drained out, the, out of the ship. This entire scene you can feel when you will read the novel. Ishmael is describing how first the whale is harpooned, that is killed with the spear, brought on the ship, skinned, the oil is drained out, the teeth are taken out, everything has been described in detail. Th that is how this is a sea novel, you know, Adventure of the Sea. Now, during this course of sailing, Quick Quag, okay, he's not keeping well. He believes that he will die soon. So he wants that a coffin should be made for him so that at least he has a good death. So he tells the carpenter of the ship, there's a carpenter on the ship, he tells him, kindly make a coffin or a casket for me. And after this, Ahab asks the blacksmith on the ship, whose name is Perth, to make him a new harpoon. See, harpoon is like a bhala. You know, it's like a spear, you know, that long, long, long stick. It's like that rod which you will throw on the whale, you know, in order to kill it. It has this pointed shape uh, thing in the starting. You understood, no? It's like that long spear, you will throw it and the whale will be killed. That is harpoon. So Ahab asks Perth, the blacksmith, to make a new harpoon and listen to his madness. He baptizes this harpoon with the blood of Peckwood's three harpooners. The three harpooners whose job is to throw the harpoon on the whale, he takes their blood literally and just upon, you know, we do that tilak uh, mala, that tika, he baptizes, Ahab baptizes this new harpoon with the blood of the three harpooners on the peckwood. Now, there is an Asian man here who has been sneaked inside. Like no one knows that he was there in peckwood till now. And all of a sudden he appears. The name of this Asian man is Fedalla, Fedalla or Parsi. He is Ahab's harpooner, but let me tell you, he's also a prophet. He's a man who prophesies about the future. And the crew members, when they meet Fedala, they try to know him. They find him a very dark character. 
they call Fedala as the devil incarnate and they think that Ahav has become mad. He has sold his soul to this devil in order to catch Moby Dick. Now, Fedala prophesies something. What does he prophesy? He prophesies Ahab's future death. You know, he says that Ahab, you will die like this. But somehow Ahab feels that the way uh, my death has been prophesied, it means I will not be killed on the sea. So Ahab is sure that he will not be killed on the sea. He's mistaken. He will be killed on the sea. Listen to me. Finally, the ship spots the deadly Moby Dick and destruction ensues over the coming three days. What happens in these three days? First, Moby Dick has a violent encounter with Ahab. Second, the monstrous whale Moby Dick destroys Peckwood and kills everyone on the ship except Ishmael. How is Ahab killed? You should know the monomaniacal man, the man who is preoccupied with killing Mo Moby Dick. He is actually killed by his own harpoon line. When he's attempting to harpoon Moby Dick, the whale in turn smashes into the peckwood and the harpoon enters Ahab and he's dead. And how does Ishmael survive? Remember, Quick Quag had got a coffin made for him, a casket. This casket became a lifeboat for Ishmael. So Ishmael floats on Quiqueg's coffin until he is picked up and rescued by another ship called as the Rachel. And here the novel ends, Moby Dick. Wasn't it adventurous? Of course, misadventure. But did you feel the excitement when you were listening to it? That is the far sea novel. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much. This is Hina from Team Walla. Take very good care of yourself. Bye-bye.